Hey, you've been here for Studio Live today, and I am not live, but I'm at yes, the Apple Store. Uh, I have a love-hate relationship with the Apple Store, but today I'm just here to buy a USB 3 to Lightning cable because I want to do some cool experiments and things, and I've heard that this cable is pretty awesome. So we'll see if I come out with just a cable or maybe like an iPad Pro as well. You never know when you're walking here. All right, wish me luck. Okay, so I am back from the Apple Store and I have my Lightning to USB 3 camera adapter. Why am I so excited about this and why am I going to recommend that you go out and get something like this? Well, if you've been watching this channel for any length of time, you would know that I'm very much into GarageBand on iOS and recording on mobile devices in general. And for the longest time, I've been using, as I drop it, I've been using this dongle here, which is the Lightning to USB adapter. This one retails for between $30 and $50, depending where in the world you are. I'm sorry, I don't know the pounds or euros, but I'm sure it's very expensive there too. This one here is $59 Australian, I think 39 US as well. So it is even more expensive, but it has one added bonus and that is that it has its own lightning port as well as a USB port. So what does that mean? Well, that means that your USB audio interfaces, your microphones, your keyboards, when you're using those, you can be charging your iPad or iPhone at the same time. And that is super handy because the old version, this one here, doesn't have that option. So what I'm gonna be doing today is to demonstrate this. I'm going to connect up some devices. So I'm gonna connect up my USB keyboard, I'm gonna connect my USB audio interface and a USB microphone just to show you how each of these work because it's a really useful item to have to connect up your devices and to keep your iPad charging at the same time. So let's go. Okay, so here is my iPad Air 2 running GarageBand, has an audio recorder track there ready to go. And what I would ordinarily do is grab my USB to lightning cable and I would plug that in just like so in the bottom here and then connect up the USB device of my choosing into here and we would be off to the races. The problem would be that my battery, which is at 100%, in a long session will quickly start draining. So I won't have the ability to use the iPad over a long period of time and continue recording if I'm in the groove, I don't wanna be stopping to stop and recharge my iPad. So the solution is this one here, the Lightning to USB 3 camera adapter. So let's unbox this, I hate that word, but let's open this box. You can see my $59 price tag right there. Let's open this one up. They never make these easy to open if you ever wanna preserve the box. Uh, I could get a knife but that would be boring. Let's just rip it open. Okay, this is the most uncoordinated opening effort you're ever likely to see. There we go. I'm in, I'm in at the top. Okay, we will pull this sucker out and see what we have. There it is in all of its glory. So we'll pop it out of the top there and the bottom. Easier said than done. Voila, so we'll get rid of the very classy Apple packaging and put that to one side. And here is our device. So you can see that compared to our original device, which we will unplug, it's a lot beefier there because it not only has that USB port there, it's also got this lightning port here that we can plug in and power our device. So let's get in now. And the first thing I'm gonna connect up here is our USB microphone. Okay, so if you've been watching the channel recently, you might be familiar with this little guy here. This is the Samson Go Mic, and this is a small diaphragm USB condenser microphone that's very good for spoken word and narration. Not amazing for music, so I don't tend to use it very much for recording music, but it is a nice versatile microphone. And what it has here is a mini USB connection. So I've got my mini USB cable here. I'm going to plug that one in like so, and then the other, whoop, it's falling over a little bit there. It's been around a while, this one, it tends to lose its footing. At the other end here is going to plug directly into my brand new Lightning to USB 3 adapter here. So what I could do is just plug this straight in. In fact, I will, I'll plug this straight into here. 
And we are now, just move that cable around. Well, look at this. The first time we've used it, we've actually got uh, an accessory update available. So this is something that I didn't expect. The, the note here is accessory update available. So what this message here is saying is that accessory update is available. Now, I wasn't even really expecting this because I didn't know this is the first time I've actually used this device. So we'll do update. This is interesting. And now it's, uh, well, it's updating the Apple USB camera adapter. So you probably can't read that because of the contrast here. I've got it set so that you can see these things here as opposed to the screen, but it's saying updating Apple USB camera adapter and it's currently at 13% complete. So we'll go ahead and update. There you go. There's something I didn't know that when you first plug in this device, it's going to update itself. So we'll let it do its thing and then we'll come back and test out this USB microphone plugged in here. Okay, 98, 99, 100% complete. So what I'm hoping will happen now is, yep, there it is, the green light comes back on, and now it's saying audio device connected. Let's turn on monitoring, and if you saw the other video, you'll know that this has a headphone jack. I'm not gonna actually record here now, but you can see that if I tap, that our audio is definitely coming through this microphone as opposed to our onboard microphone, and on the side of this device, we have a headphone jack as well. So USB microphones are a really handy option. If you want, if you have nothing else and you've just been using the onboard mic and the onboard sound, grabbing yourself an adapter, either the cheaper version, this one here, or the more expensive version we have here is gonna be a good investment along with a USB microphone such as this one. Anyway, the point we wanted to show here was not just that we could connect, but that we could power our device. So I do have 100% power, but we'll be able to still see if it starts actually powering us up. What I'm gonna use here is a USB power bank. So this one is just a two USB port power bank. You could plug this directly into the wall. I've got the lightning charger cable here, but just pretend if you want to that this is plugged into a wall or that it's into this battery. Either way, it's gonna provide that five volt lightning connection we need. We'll plug the lightning into the side there and then presto, up in the top corner here, we are now recording. And now it's gonna say audio device connected again. So it's obviously disconnecting the device for a second while it powers up. And now our device is powering thanks to the battery sitting over here, or again, could be plugged into the wall and we're using our USB microphone. So these two devices together mean that you now have limitless possibilities. You've got a USB microphone to record with and you can power your device for as long as you need to, as long as this battery will last or if you're plugged into the wall uh, until your next power outage happens. So that's pretty cool, but let's move on now. Let's connect up some other devices to our iPad and see how they go. Okay, let's bring in our next device and it is going to be our Steinberg UR12 audio interface. So this is a USB audio interface that is compatible with iOS, it's a, a really handy little unit and this one connects via our USB 2 connection here, but it also powers itself from a five volt DC power. So that's very handy because we have our micro USB cable here, which we'll plug in to there. And as you already know, we have our power bank sitting over here. So once again, this is very handy to have something like a power bank because we've got our two USB ports. We can now plug in to that second port and we've got both of our devices powered. Now, no lights are on here at the moment because we haven't actually connected this via USB. So let's do that now. This connects, as I said before, via the USB A to B cable. So we're gonna plug one end into there. That is plugged. We'll turn our device around. And the other end of this is not surprisingly going to go in to our USB port over here. So we click in, our lights start blinking, and bingo, we are connected. And audio device connected, it's saying up here, we're gonna turn on monitoring, which we have done there now. And you can see here, Steinberg is connected here, we've got our USB connection there, and that our iPad is also continuing to charge itself, which is exactly what we want it to do. So now we can actually plug in via the microphone, XLR input here via the instrument input, have our headphones plugged in, use our monitoring, 
and we're away. We can now record for as long as we want, plug in a guitar, plug in a microphone, plug in both, record them both at the same time. As always, there's videos about how to do that linked down below, but this is a great way that I can now plug in with one power bank and I've got hours of charge there on the go with just this device that I can do recording. So I'm pretty super excited about that one. Let's now move on to our next device. Okay, we are bringing in the big guns. Here is our E-Keys 49 key, Whoop, falling off the edge. E-Keys 49 USB MIDI keyboard that we can use with GarageBand. So for this one, what we're gonna do is jump out of the audio recorder. Didn't mean to go all the way out, that's okay. But we can come in and let's load up a keyboard. If we can get there eventually. Probably gone the wrong way. All right, let's load up the keyboard sound. There we are, there's our grand piano sound ready to go. So this keyboard here is going to use, which I threw down here, it's gonna use our USB A to B connector. So if we flip it over, you can see on the back panel, just there, we've got a USB A to B. We also have separate power here, so if the iPad isn't gonna power this, I happen to know that the iPad does power this, so I'm gonna go with it. My iPhone doesn't though, so I need to use that separate DC power. Sorry for the blurriness. When I use this with my iPhone, or there's another solution to that, which we'll get to in a little while. Okay, let's put our keyboard back down. And now we can plug in over on the side here. Let's find our USB port and plug that one in. Again, this is a little bit less clunky if you're not doing it on a surface in front of a camera. Just get those cables out of the way. Okay, so you can see if I slide down here that yes, my keyboard is powered up and the lights are on and everyone's home. So we're ready to play. So now, if I put my hands around my camera here, we can. We can play our keyboard sounds and it's going to go straight into here. And once again, we are powering our iPad at the same time. So again, a very cool way that we can plug in our MIDI controller, make sure everything's powered up and ready to go and we'll have no issues with our device losing power. And instead of using our touch screen, we can use our keyboard. Very cool. Okay, so we're nearly at the end of this video, but as a bonus, I wanted to share something a bit interesting with you. Um, about oh, a year ago when I first recorded a video where I connected my USB piano to my iPad, I got a question asking, can I connect a keyboard to my iPad using the lightning to USB adapter? And I replied saying, well, yes, that's the video that I just did. And they said, no, no, a computer keyboard. So, what I would like to show you now is that, in fact, you can connect your computer keyboard. In fact, here is my keyboard, and it is a wireless USB keyboard, and let's plug in the wireless dongle into the USB port, and there's no lights this time, so we don't know that it's on, but I guarantee you it is. And now, what's a way we can show you this? Let's go into our song here that we had and our audio recorder, and if we tap on rename, if we don't this want this one to be what it is now, let's delete that. I'm holding down the delete key. And now I can type in Pete's awesome track. If I can spell and hit enter and there it is. So yes, we can in fact hook up a USB keyboard, a QWERTY keyboard to our device and it doesn't kind of end there. There's a whole community of people that are connecting all sorts of devices in, let's get that out of the way, all sorts of devices into their iPads and iPhones here using the USB to lightning adapter. The one thing that you can't connect is a USB flash drive. And yes, I know that's one of the most requested features. There are specific USB flash drives that require specific apps that you can get that connect via the lightning port, but you cannot just plug in a USB uh, flash drive and expect to be able to access your files. I'm sorry, it wasn't my decision and it would be really handy, but we can't do it. 
So what you can connect though is network adapters. You can connect keyboards and mice. I don't know what you'd use a mouse for on an iPad, but you can do it. So anything that uses a standard USB that doesn't require a driver is going to be able to function here on your iPad. So I think that's a really cool feature. So if you've got an iPhone, an iPad, an iPad Pro, any iOS device, you've now got the flexibility with a device like this to not only power your device, but to plug in and use any of your devices. So I hope you found this useful, insightful, entertaining, or all of the above. I love the Lightning to USB adapter. I use it all the time. And now that I have one that's gonna actually power my devices, I'm gonna be using it even more and for longer. So I highly recommend checking this out. If you're the sort of person that wants to hook up a bunch of stuff to your iPad or to your iPhone, then this is a great solution. Thanks again for watching and for all your support. If you've got comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below, and I'll see you in the next video.